Now, our theorem this time is looking at the idea that we get two equal chords. So I'm going to make our chords are equal as much as possible. So we're getting 7.67. We're almost there. Oh, 7.68. We're getting close. And the idea that if we get an equal chords, it's trying and still trying to get them. If we get equal chords, then we're able to get the distance from that chord to the center being equal. Now, the idea is that if you're going to do that, then you need to get the most direct distance, which obviously would be the perpendicular distance. So, if I get a perpendicular line there, so trying to get as close as possible. So, if I can get it equal there, have a look at what's happening to the distances here. I'm pretty close, but when I get the distances here, they start to be the same. So, AG and AH, the distance from the chords to the center. Now, notice I'm, I'm a little bit out. I'm not exactly, I'm close enough for, for it to be rounding to the same distance between the chords and the center of the circle. And that only happens when the chords are equal, because you can only, if the chords are different, are different sizes, well, you see what starts to happen. Like, it, it doesn't work out. It doesn't match up. It doesn't give the same distance from the center. So that's what we're looking at when we're looking at that theorem. So how does that theorem work? Well, again, you, you're probably thinking, well, wait on, are we along the same lines as uh, the idea of the chords uh, theorems we had before? Well, we're going pretty much the same way. So again, we know that if this is going to be the same, so equal chords are equal distance, so we know the chords are equal, and we know we're looking for the perpendicular distance, so we know we're getting perpendiculars there, which means that we know our DF is equal to, D, A, is equal to AC. So DF, AC is the same. We also know that DE would be half of DF, and AB is half of DC, so those are going to be equal as well. We know we're going to have uh, AC equal to DF as we there so DE and AB we, so we know they're going to be the same we also know that if we check out these triangles that so we've got this side equal we know we've got a right angle and we know that we've got the radii of the circle being equal as well which means by right angle hypotenuse and the other side that these two triangles are congruent which means our third side must be congruent, must be equal as well. So the corresponding sides. So the converse of that theorem is that if those sides are equal, if that's the case, if the chords are equidistant, so the same distance there, and again, that's got to happen when they are right angled, then the chords must be equal. So, again, playing around with the data we've got, we know that OE and OB are equal, and we also know that we get right angled. We also know that these two sides are equal because they are uh, radii of the circle. So there's those three. Again, we've proven that those two triangles are congruent, which means that this must be equal to this one. So that's what it's saying there, D equals, D equals AB. We also know that because it's right angled there out and out from our previous theorems, it bisects the curve. So that must be equal. And that one must be equal to AB. BC is equal to AC. And so the two together must be equal to each other because they've got two equal parts adding up to give it that there, which is what all that part starts to talk about. So you can see how we're starting to use the, the theorem from what we've done before to in to prove and use uh, for this theorem to prove this theorem so get used to put, making sure we have our reasons we've talked a lot about when we make a statement in geometry we must give a reason don't need an essay but we need a decent reason that we can understand and relate back to a theorem so there's our third lots of theorems Okay, and one's dealing with chords. So hopefully we've got a good idea about what chords in, do in circles now and what type of things they cause with the right angles, equidistances, um, and all the other things that a chord can do to a circle.